Hey, welcome back. Okay, so we two Moana sets in one week is what we're building at the moment. So we only just built the poly bag with this same Moana mini doll in it. But I really wanted to build the wayfinding boat too, which is what this one is. So this one has got two mini dolls in it. It's got 321 pieces. It's $50 in Australia, 35 in the USA, and it's open. So <laughs> let's have a look. So we have got one, two, we got three bags, some really interesting colours in here. <gasps> the sale is actually in a little paper envelope. This is new. And I love how it's got a do not cut on the outside. Very smart. Here are the stickers and our instruction book. So we're ready to go. We're ready to rumble. So let's have a look at the mini dolls first, obviously, because that's the, that's the reason I'm here. So Moana, let's put this the right way around. So since opening the previous poly bag, I actually went and had another little look at Moana's outfit at the very end of the movie. And this is it. This is what it's supposed to be, apart from like, that's the same colors on her skirt, except she should have have like kind of a one one armed thingy and a wreath of flowery leaf bits around her hair that would be so cool but the important thing the exciting part about this set is the inclusion of her mum which might seem like a strange addition but her mum is on the boat with her when they set off on the wayfinding boats at the end of the movie so this is nice I think it's really nice and it's cool to have another Polynesian character so we've got Moana's mum brand new outfit as well also had a little look at what this looked like at the end of the movie and it's pretty spot on it's like slightly off on the color scheme i think because it was kind of more whitish but i like this i like this very much i also very much like her face print because unlike moana's with the crazy big eyes weird shaped eyes these ones are reasonably normal looking and they got little creases in the side to designate that she has a little bit more wisdom on her side <laughs> than moana has but yeah her eyes are so much better hair piece is cool too because this is actually an elsa hair piece from the minifig Elsa but it's recolored in black now because this has been yeah this has been designed for minifigures and not for mini dolls it sits up really weirdly over her shoulder but there's actually a trick you can do where you boil it and then stretch it while it's still warm obviously using gloves and everything so or you can heat it up with a hairdryer or something like that and stretch the plait out a little bit so that it just goes a little bit further down her down her torso, which is what I'm going to end up doing with this hairpiece. Really nice. Really nice to have Moana's mum as a mini doll. There's also one animal included in here, which is just a dolphin, which is a little bit random because I think like Grandma Stingray in here or even Hei, even Hei Hei or Pua or Maui in his eagle form would have been a cool inclusion. Dolphin's kind of just a chucked in animal, but I mean, it's a sea animal and they do get guided along by dolphins, so that's okay. It looks nice. It's pretty. Dolphins are cute and everyone loves them, so you can't complain, really. Was I complaining? I don't think so. So we're building a boat, which seems weird because this doesn't look anything like a boat, but this is going to go on the boat. So this is their sleeping quarters. I love the nougat plates on this, the ones on the bottom. They're a color that I haven't seen before in this bigger size, but apparently they've been in the Star Wars sets. So it's the first time they've made their way out of Star Wars stuff. These beautiful, beautiful pattern stickers are going to be the bedspreads, and they're actually two different ones, which is good. Not even cut and paste. No, cut and paste. Copy and paste. One of you guys in the comments picked me up on that. So yeah, copy and pasting. These didn't happen. So two different designs, which is nice for the beds. And up the back in between is a little, little dividing table with this part, which is a lamp, a little lamp and a pot, which is perfect. Okay, so sleeping quarters are, well, the internal part is done. So a bit of of greenery on the side with some really pretty pink flowers and then just building up the sides keeping the weather out a bit I love the stripes of red all goes really well culturally and color scheme wise got some teal studs on the top knocked over <laughs> Poor old, poor old Moana's mum. They barely fit into the sleeping quarters, but the idea is nice. So this looks like it's going to be the roof section of the sleeping bit. I like, I like the inclusion of the vibrant coral pieces, which go really nicely with the red. Like they just really make it pop beautifully. So we've got some greeny bits on the front, some flowers and a nice big palm leaf hanging over the top back. I don't know. We'll find it when we put it on. We've got some vibrant coral archways here. Oh, that's cool. This, the design of this is not simplified. Often a lot of these Disney princess builds are aimed for either the easier builds because they're aimed for younger builders. But I don't I don't think that this build is particularly simple. I mean, it's not really hard, but it's also it's, it's got some good good things going on in it. So we've got a couple of drums here, different drum skins on there with the turtle print and a fish print. Really nice. And a couple of drumsticks as well. The torchy bits at the top. 
Okay, cool. So this, yeah, this goes on the top up here. Nice. All right, so it kind of looks like a little hut at the moment. This is what we got left over. Why do I have an oar? Was I supposed to put that on somewhere? No, everything else doesn't look weird. Maybe one of them's just supposed to be holding the oar. I'll have a look later. So we're up to bag number two. And now we have to build the actual foundation of the boat because <laughs> otherwise this very uh, not boaty looking thing ain't gonna float. Not that it's gonna float anyway because it says very clearly on the box, model does not float. I love how they do that. It just makes me want to go and try it, make it float, make it float. But we won't, we won't do that. All right, so our boat will not float according to the box. That doesn't float my boat. Stop it. Just stop. Okay, and we've got some really nice angling going on here for the outsides. So it's like a catamaran with the floaty bits on the bottom. I really like this as a build idea for Moana because we've had huts. We've had a little hut. We have had other boats uh, including one with Maui on it, but this one's different from all of the others so far. I mean, this one is definitely supposed to be the one from the end of the movie, or the one of the ones from the ends of the movie. So wayfinding, heading out, heading out and finding their way. So I really like that premise as a set. It's a lovely idea. So this is going together, these go on either side. This is going together as per the one that we've just done, but it's a little bit shorter. This one's just a, so they're not going to be an equal size which hurts my brain a bit, but there must be a reason for that. <laughs> there must be. It must still float fine, even if both of the little support things aren't equal sized. <laughs> some greenery on the front, some greenery and pinkery, very nice. Orange and red striping along the front there too. And this bit actually holds these two boy bits together. Nice, okay. Attachment bits to for the top. And then we have these pieces left at the end of bag two or up to bag number three. So at the moment we've got a nice little flotation section. This here now is just decoration. So this is, we're making a little like pinwheel kind of shape out of the light nougat toned quarter pie pieces. Got a nice sticker in the front. We've got two pieces of these and they go on the outside. Oh, hold on, how does that go on the outside? How would, oh, okay, that's why I just put that on the wrong way around. So they go on the outward, the outward facing studs, creating our decoration. Got a nice little holdery rod bit up there. It's significant. It's there for a reason because this bit here is about to get a lot bigger. And then we're going to stick it on the floaty bits that we've already made. So nice big long turquoise plates to go onto, or not plates, sorry, the tan plates are held together by turquoise long plates. And then this goes on the other side. Oh, that's so nice. And then in the middle is like a little netting piece. I mean, it's not netting, but it's supposed to signify netting. Cool. All right. And we got orange stripes along here, red circly bit nice bright vibrant green here oh covered over by the vibrant coral really like the green and suddenly it's gone but you can still see it from the side or oh, coral pillow piece there maybe we can have another little resting spot there on the top on the rafty section very nice it's really nice the color schemes are really pretty so this goes on the top there and that little rod goes through the hole in the red bit so you've got it positioned correctly yeah another little mat here so that that's like a little seat little nice seating section on the front and now we just need to put together the mast and the mast is important because well, of course the mast's important like without the mast <laughs> the boat's not gonna go anywhere they have one oar I suppose if one of them like rows really hard they will be able to go around in circles so no we're gonna need the mast to catch the wind so I just need to make sure I put all of these little bits in the correct configuration because this isn't I mean it's not hard but it's not super simple and this bit this is cool we've got some tan colored tan colored bananas to make the embellishment at the top and now we get to get our actual our sail out of oh that's nice out of the paper envelope that is exactly what the sail looks like at the end of the movie that's so cool all right so this just goes on our little red pin piece there and we're set except I have got some really random bits left over at the end here. So I actually missed these off somewhere in the build process. Oh, we're not finished yet. We have this weird thing put to put together, which is, I, th I think it's a coconut and we're just gonna just pop it in here. And then we put the sleeping quarters on top of that. What oh, does fit over the top of the coconut? So perfect. So there's a little storage section, little hidden storage section in the netting 
underneath. I like that. I always like a hidden storage section. That's so cool. Look at that. Okay, all right. So we're done. It's a really nice little build. It's not a terribly simple build, which is nice because I think a lot of us who've grown up with Moana, <laughs> say us, I was an adult when <laughs> Moana came out, but kids who've grown up with Moana will be a little bit older now. So I think they'll appreciate a more complex build. So there we go. The raft is all ready to go, or the boat, the wayfinding boat. It looks fantastic. It's not so great from the back where you can see all the structure for the sail, but who's going to be looking at it from the back? I know I'm not going to be. We can bring the dolphin in and the dolphin can swim along beside the boat it's lovely it really is very very lovely all right let me know if this is the sort of set that you need to pick up for your collection i gotta tell you that moana's mum's really nice mini doll to be adding to your collection if you're a collector of mini dolls like me and she doesn't have the weird eyes so that's a big ticket <laughs> <laughs> Big tick in the box. All right, let me know you let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be back with another video really soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.